Brachtel is a German manufacturer of heavy duty recovery trucks and this review is of a Brachtel Masterlift mounted on a Mercedes-Benz 8x4 chassis. The model box is a standard Conrad design and there's no information about the real truck or information about the model. And the contents of the box consist of the model and a small bag of parts. As usual there are a few small parts that have to be fitted to the cab of the truck and these first have to be removed from their mouldings using a sharp modelling knife. The parts concerned only consist of aerials and mirrors and once they're separated you can start to fit them. This is the typical method for Conrad truck models and we'll start by fitting the door mirrors and they just easily push into place. On this particular model the frame that holds the door mirror is thicker at the bottom than it is at the top so it's easy to make sure that the mirror goes in the right way round. With the two main door mirrors installed, there's one other mirror to put in and that's the one over the passenger side door and that's a simple push fit too. The last detail to add is the roof aerials and these can sometimes be easy and sometimes frustrating but on this one it's not too bad and they just push into place. Looking at the chassis, the steering axles are not modelled for accuracy but instead for functionality. But the accuracy improves significantly on the rear axles where the suspension is accurately modelled. The wheel hubs are very detailed with the wheel nuts clearly visible and there are wider tyres on the front steering axles. And at the rear the driven wheels also look very good. The front of the cab looks very good with excellent lights, the Mercedes logo but sadly no number plates. And up on top the aerials, mirrors, beacon lights and air horns give an authentic look. A particularly good aspect of this model is the paintwork and graphics and the graphics are really rendered very well in small detail. This is quite a heavy model nearly all made in metal and that includes the grab rails along the top edges and the beam that holds the beacon light bar. At the rear the detailing of the lights is done in a simpler way with the lights just being painted on. Viewing down inside the truck there is a fuel tank visible and the two winches are rendered in plastic. At the business end of the model, the boom and the recovery arm are a mixture of metal and plastic, but fortunately the plastic has a reasonable colour match with the metal parts. As befits a heavy truck model, it certainly rolls well on the test surface. If we pick it up and have a closer look, the rear wheels are all mounted on common axles, and there's no working suspension. However, at the front the link steering does work well and it's possible to get a good angle on the wheels. The model scaling is accurate so there's no fouling of the tyres and the truck steers well round corners. Another feature typical on Conrad trucks is the tilting cab and that works quite well and it does pose tilted forward. That provides a view of the engine and the cab closes back up with a satisfying clunk. At the rear there are a couple of plastic stabilisers and these can be lowered to provide resistance for the truck if it's either lifting a load or perhaps if the winches are being used. Because the stabilisers are stiff enough you can actually pose the rear wheels off the ground if you want. And when you're done they just push back up. The main recovery boom rests on a couple of hydraulic cylinders and these are stiff on the model and, but they work and you can lift the whole boom up if you want. And the recovery arm also can be folded down. Again the connections are all stiff enough that you can pose it in any position you want and also the recovery arm is telescopic, it's got a three stage telescope and it just pulls out and again it's all quite stiff so you can pose it at any intermediate position if you want. There are a couple of wheel supports which sit at the end of the recovery arm but before we fit those we'll just have a look at another feature and that is that there are opening flaps on either side of the model into which the wheel supports are probably meant to fit for storage but unfortunately they are a bit too thick to fit on this model. But one place they do fit is on the end of the recovery arm and they're just a simple push fit, uh, one on each side and then that provides a pair of wheel supports for any vehicle that you're towing with the truck. There is another working feature on the model and that's the two winches, both of which work and you can see we'll just pull one out here and then you can wind it back in again um, they're a little bit tricky to operate, you have to kind of use your thumbnail on the edge of the serrated drum and that's a little bit difficult, but they do work. So having looked at the main features of the model, let's get it hooked up and going to work and here we've got an MAN tipper which we can just rest on the wheel supports on the back of the recovery truck and it all makes a pretty good pose and it's an interesting model to see in a display cabinet. 
In summary, this is really an interesting truck model from Conrad. As usual, it's strongly made and the features of the model work well. The details are good and it looks particularly smart with its paintwork and graphics. And for those reasons, it's highly recommended.